Ciao. My friend Dennis was looking for an inexpensive fix for his brakes, and the caliper dust boots were badly torn. You can find kits that include calipers, rotors, and pads, or you can go the really cheap route and rebuild the calipers, which I'll show you in this video. You're going to start by removing the wheel. Then you want to break loose the 14 millimeter banjo bolt from the brake line to the caliper and the caliper slide pin bolts. You'll also want to break loose the 17 millimeter bracket bolts. You'll want to place a catch pan underneath the caliper and completely remove the slide pin bolts and the banjo bolt. I clamped a pair of vice grips on the brake line with some protective paper in order to lessen how much brake fluid came out and also how much air went into the system. Remove the caliper and set aside. Remove the brake pads. Completely remove the two 17 millimeter caliper bracket bolts and remove the caliper bracket. Remove the rotor. There may be a Phillips head screw or two holding this to the hub. If not, it will simply come right off. Install the new rotor onto the lug studs. To remove the piston cup from the caliper, place a piece of wood in the space to catch the cup and use compressed air to blow into the hole where the banjo bolt normally lives. This happens quickly and can be dangerous, so please be careful. Remove the cup and use a pick or flathead screwdriver to remove the retaining ring. Be careful not to score the inside of the caliper. I used a pick to remove the square cut o-ring. Again, just be careful not to scratch or score the inside of the caliper. I used a brass wire brush and a parts washer to clean the inside of this caliper and the caliper piston. You want to make sure there are no large pits, holes, or scratches in the cup or the inside of the caliper. If there are, these should be replaced. When you install the new square cut o-ring, it is helpful to cover it with fresh brake fluid. Make sure the o-ring sits flush inside its home in the caliper. Liberally apply fresh brake fluid to the piston. Work the dust boot down the back of the piston cup. You want a little lip to hang over the edge once it's seated on the cup. Make sure to apply brake fluid to the edge of the dust boot. To seat the dust boot inside the caliper, I set the back in first. Then work my way around the edge with a dull flathead screwdriver, being careful not to puncture the dust boot. Once the boot is seated in that little ledge, you want to make sure the cup is going straight into the caliper by first starting it with your hands. It will be easier to compress the cup into the caliper if you release the bleeder valve. Then use a tool like the back of a hammer to press the cup into the caliper. You'll know if you're going straight down because it will slide in relatively easily. Install the new retaining ring into the ledge. You'll feel it snap into place. Now you're ready to reinstall the caliper bracket. First thread in the two 17 millimeter bolts with your hands, then they're torqued to 79 foot-pounds. Remove your slide pins and clean them. Remember which one is the upper and which one is the lower because they are different. Apply your favorite brake component grease to the clean slide pins. Put them back in their appropriate boots and push the boot back onto its seat. Line the caliper back up by squishing the slide pins and boots down while putting the slide pin screws back in. These are torqued to 25 foot-pounds. Lastly, reinstall the banjo bolt with new copper washers in the back of the caliper. This 14 millimeter is torqued to 21 foot-pounds. There's only one direction the line can go when you tighten down the banjo bolt. It has to go through the groove in the caliper. I performed a little trick to help expunge some of the air in the system quickly. I had a buddy step on the brake and hold while I released the vice grips and opened the bleeder valve. Then do a very thorough brake bleed and voila, $8 instead of $80 on each caliper. I have another video on how to do a thorough brake fluid flush. Check it out in the description below for a link. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe below so we can help other people find this video. You can find more tips and tricks on my Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn at 
Girly Garage.